Hi guys, so this video is going to be more of a personal video. Um, like I said in my first video or my second video, I want to make this channel somewhere where I can be open and honest, talk about my struggles, and potentially hopefully help somebody that might be going through the same thing. And so I wasn't going to do this particular video, but something happened this weekend where I kind of think I need to make this video. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about anxiety and depression. I suffer mainly from anxiety. I've always had panic attacks. I have have moments where I literally can't control my emotions, where I can be fine and then something really, really little can make me super mad or super upset or, and I just can't shake it. Like I just can't stop from feeling that way. I know in my head, I'm telling myself, hey, it's not that big of a deal. It's not, it's not, don't worry about it. Don't freak out. But at the same time, I literally can't get myself to follow that advice. And this weekend was a weekend from hell. Everything was fine Friday. Well, Friday night hit and I started feeling anxious. Um, kind of started not feeling like myself. And I kind of knew something was going a little wrong. So I ended up going to bed early that night. And I slept all night, fine, everything. And I thought it was, everything was going to be fine. I thought maybe I was just not feeling good. Well, Saturday took a turn where I woke up and I just did not feel myself at all. I was cranky. I was emotional. I felt like the entire world was staring at me. I I just felt like the center of everything. Like everything that was going wrong, I felt it was my fault. It felt like you're walking into a room wearing no clothes, full of people, and everyone's just staring at you. That's how I felt like all day. And it was rough because I have my fiance's here on the weekends. Um, he only works Monday through Friday. He just kept asking me, well, what's wrong? Like, why are you acting this way? Like, it's, are you mad? Like, what made you mad? Are you upset? Like, what happened? And I literally couldn't answer that question. And he didn't understand that. He couldn't understand, like, how is there not an answer for that? I look up saying, I don't know. I just woke up this way. I don't know what's going on. I could not shake the feeling of being at fault for everything. I couldn't stop myself from feeling that way. So it ultimately made me upset. It made me mad, it made me frustrated. I mean, it made me so tired and drained. And waking up that morning and realizing how I felt, I literally lost the motivation for the day. I didn't know what to do with myself, so I stayed in bed all day. I didn't eat, I kept to myself and Looking back, I feel terrible because those moments, people are like, well, what is it What is it like uh, if you can't tell me like what's wrong? Well, it's kind of like, you know, a machine and you're overflowing it with things and it shuts down, it starts to smoke up and everything. That's kind of what it feels like. There's so many feelings going in through my body. I mean, I don't know which one to, to act on. I don't know. I just feel like I'm just smacking into a wall at every turn I take. And it's just like so much to deal with. And I think that's what... The only way I can explain anxiety is like there's so many feelings and at that moment your body and your head can't seem to pick up the same one and my body wanted to pick on me being exhausted. My brain wanted to be angry, it wanted to be sad, it wanted to be happy. I mean it was rough. It was really really rough and when my fiance would constantly come and ask me, oh are you okay? What's wrong? I would get even more angry because like he was understanding that I didn't want anything. I would just want to be by myself. And I know that's not fair. I know, I know that's not fair. And it feels terrible. And I explained to him on Sunday when I started feeling better, like, I didn't know what was going on. I mean, I knew, I, I mean, I was there. I wasn't in some other body or anything. I know. But I just didn't know how to process everything that was going on. And I don't know where it started from. I don't know why I started feeling that way because I do get panic attacks and anxiety attacks and things like that. And they do come out of nowhere. In October, I had a really bad one. We went to San Diego Zoo um, for my birthday. And I was crying at the zoo because I had no, I didn't, but I didn't know why. I mean, everything was going great. It was a great day, but I just didn't know. I just got really upset and I mean, it was hard to breathe. I started getting a headache and that was kind of what was happening yesterday, but it was like all day. It was all day, and I just couldn't stop from feeling that way. And what sucks the most is I'm aware of how I'm acting and things that I'm saying. And But when it comes to you know doing something about it, I just couldn't do anything about it. I just didn't know. 
I couldn't find the words to say. I didn't think there was any words. I mean, I still don't really think there's any any words because I still don't have an answer for what happened. I felt like the entire world was on my shoulders, and I know that's not the case. I mean, looking at it now, a couple days later, and it's just like, what the hell happened, girl? Like, what happened? I felt terrible that, you know, I kind of ruined the weekend by acting that way because I'm not a spoiled brat. I don't make an admission to ruin somebody's weekend. And that's how I, like, that's what made it even worse is, like, I knew I was ruining my weekend, but I was also ruining his weekend, and it made me feel terrible. Like, when he went to bed, I actually came out in the living room, and I fell asleep in the living room because I just literally didn't want to be around anybody. I was so tired of talking about it because he kept asking me all damn day, what's wrong? And I literally, and I, I know it's not his fault because he doesn't understand. He doesn't deal with those things. So he didn't understand when I kept saying, I don't know what's wrong. But he also didn't understand when I was saying, I don't want you to keep asking me. I don't want you to keep telling me that it's no big deal. Because at this moment, it's a big deal. Lately, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about anxiety and depression. And I also hear the negative things where people are like, well, you know, that's just an excuse not to do things. And no, it's not. Like I said, it's like a blockage. And the only way I can really explain what it's like it's like if you go to the zoo and you're, you're standing against that thick glass and you see all the animals on the other side, you know, the adventure and it's fun and exciting. But that's how I feel about, in those moments, that's how I feel about like on the other side of that glass is where I want to be, how I want to feel. It's, it's like in that moment, I'm stuck in that glass. I can't figure out how to get around that glass. And because I can't get around that glass or get through that glass, I mean, I get upset because I'm stuck. I get angry because I'm stuck. I get frustrated because that glass is in the damn way. Like I get so bent out of shape and it's like seeing everything you want right in front of you, but you can't get it. And you, you feel all those emotions and stuff that are flowing through you, but you don't know which one it is that you should be focused on. And cause there's so many and a lot of times it's so intense that you have no choice but to just throw your hands up and be like, I can't deal with it. I just can't deal with it. And I know that's not a way you can get through life. You can't get through life saying, I can't deal with it. Because I know, even though nothing happened this weekend that would have put me in that mood, I know that someday throughout life, there's going to be things that are going to like attempt to put me in that mood. But I need to learn how to, you know process it at the time because I don't know if this weekend was just a built up of things because I have a lot of personal issues I'm going through and there's so many things that I'm dealing with but I'm I always push the feelings aside and deal with the problem and even though the problem got fixed I still left with the feeling I'm guessing it all just built up this weekend and I reached out to a group that I'm a part of and I mean it was just a lot of nice things and it made me feel a lot better because I just kind of wanted someone to talk to but I also wanted someone to talk to that would understand so by reaching out to this group I knew that I wasn't just talking to a wall. Not saying that my fiance is talking to a wall, but he didn't understand and there was no, he couldn't, he didn't relate. And so when I reached out, I, like people were like, you know, that's fine, that's okay. It's okay to feel that way, but don't let it take over. I mean, just understand that you're going through that. I mean, it's good that you understood. So I understood that not how I'm supposed to feel. And I learned that it's okay to feel that way. I mean, I chose, the next day you know what I might be upset still I might be angry still I might be really tired still but it's okay I'm not gonna let it ruin the rest of the day and Sunday actually wasn't a bad day I'm that person that I have to be a part of everything I have to take on everything instead of like you know splitting it I just take all of it and so Sunday I learned like you know I can't take everything because I don't know how to deal with everything. If you're going to have people that are going to ask you, if you're having anxiety or if you're having days where you don't want to get out of bed, you don't want to brush your hair and you don't want to say hello to anybody around you, that's okay. I mean, that is perfectly fine. And you're going to have people that are going to be like, it's not that big of a deal. Why can't you just get over it? Understand that everybody is different. And you might be having that moment where you just can't deal with it, but, un but know that it is okay. You're not alone. I mean, it might feel like that at the time, like Saturday, I was by myself. I stayed in my room by myself. I didn't feel like I had anyone to talk to, but sitting there knowing that that's not who I am and that's not what I want to focus myself around, I had to take myself out of that little block and look at the block. I had to look at what was making me feel that way 
even though I didn't know, I, I, I figured it was stress. I figured it was all the problems I'm dealing with. I just had to, had to understand that it is okay. It is fine and that's life. Life has a lot of feelings, it has a lot of emotions, it has a lot of thoughts and opinions. And sometimes reaching out to somebody and talking to somebody, I mean, that could be your way of getting out of it. And I didn't want to talk to anybody, but like because I understood that that's not who I am and that's not where I want to be, I forced myself to talk about it. I mean, I, I had to tell people that, hey, I am a wreck today. I am angry. I'm arguing with my fiance. I'm not wanting to do life. I don't want to shower. I don't want to eat. I don't want to do anything. But you can't let that take over you. You can't let that define who you are. That's what I did Sunday and Sunday was a good day. I mean, it wasn't the best day, but it was an improvement and it takes one step every day. If, if you're going through something so bad where you were like me on sun Saturday where you didn't want to do anything, just take steps. The next day, brush your hair. If that's all you can do on Sunday, then that's all you can do on Sunday. You don't have to listen to everybody else by saying, get over it, deal with it. Why? Why are you acting this way? You don't have to listen to them. It's because people don't understand. That's why they're asking you that. My point is that people who are going through like anxiety and depression, that you're not alone. You're not unnormal. It's something that we all go through. We're all human. We all have feelings. We all have emotions. And sometimes some of us at some point, at some point don't know how to process those feelings. But it's really important for you to recognize that that's not all you have to live for. You don't, all your life isn't, shouldn't be surrounded by your bedroom and the wall, the four walls that close you in. And the important thing is, is you just need to talk about it, but you have to do it on your own terms. You can't do it when someone's trying to tell you to do it because then you're gonna rush it and you might not deal with everything and it might put you in a deeper hole because then you're more frustrated because you've been putting all this work in and you're not getting nowhere. So, this video is kind of a rant. Like I said, it's kind of my way to vent because it is something I dealt with this weekend. And by talking about it, it just kind of gets it off my chest. I struggle, but I know it's okay to struggle. And or I've learned that it's okay to struggle. And the people that don't want to support you are not the people that you want in your life. Those are not the people that you want to be there as your support group. I'm making it a vow because I know that that wasn't the last, that wasn't the first time that happened and that wasn't the last time it was going to happen. But each, every time I learn something new and the next time, you know, maybe it's only going to be, it's going to be half a day instead of a full day. And, or, you know, maybe next time it might be three or four days, but that's fine. I mean, as long as, as long as you don't let it um, take over your life and because it's your life, it, it is your life and you should get the best out of it. And like I said, this is what I want to do on my channel. I want to talk about things that I'm dealing with, things that are real for me, because I know if they're real for me, they're probably real for a lot of other people. It's really 100% me. This channel is like 100% me. It's who I am. It's what I'm about. And my goal is to help people that are like me or know somebody like me. And this video might not help you, but it could potentially help somebody else. So if you like this video, please give it a like, um, share it if you know anyone that's going through something to let them know that, hey, you're not alone. I mean, there's other people. I mean, everybody deals with something and you're not, you're not alone. You're just not alone. And it's really important to have a support group because we're human and we have hearts and we have a brain that sometimes don't want to feel the same way and it's conflicting it's upsetting it's frustrating and but you know what that's life we're humans and that's what you have to understand that it is life you know those lemons are being really are being thrown at you but now is the time that you need to grab those lemons and make some lemonade and you know take a sip of that lemonade because if you don't those lemons are going to hurt more i just want to really say thank you for watching this video um, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Um, this channel is going to be mainly about, you know, me. It's going to be about my life and things I deal with. And I'm trying to keep it as relatable as possible. Yeah, thank you for watching.